We did receive preliminary ash result testing on Friday night uh, from the Kula area. Uh, the ash samples were collected on September 21st from eight homes. And those homes ranged in age from about the 1930s to the 2000s. Uh, those results uh, did indicate exceedances of high levels of lead and cobalt and extremely high levels of arsenic. Well, that's the Hawaii Department of Health commenting on the preliminary data from ash sampling following the Maui fires. The ash samples were collected in September from eight burned homes in Kula. The initial results show very high levels of arsenic as well as lead and cobalt. Now, according to the initial data, health officials believe Lahaina's results will likely be the same. Again, this data has not yet been validated and final results have not yet been released. State health officials say the greatest concern is arsenic at 140 times higher than the environmental action level. Long-term exposure to arsenic can cause skin problems, heart problems, and skin cancers. If you're going into an area impacted by the fires, you are advised to wear personal protective equipment and wash off any items removed from the area. The DOH and its partners have consistently been communicating uh, the importance of protective measures uh, regarding the ash, which is uh, known to be hazardous. Uh, the presence of those substances is not surprising. Uh, but the concentrations are indeed high, uh, which only reinforces the need to follow the precautionary measures that have been previously communicated. What we're going to do as a result, the arsenic, which is the greatest concern, is 140 times above the environmental action level. And a lot of this guidance is geared toward that. The Department of Education continues to believe that reopening of our Lahaina schools for in-person learning is critical to the well-being of our students, and to the Lahaina community. We've been reassured that our Lahaina campuses are safe for students and staff to be at. Based on current air quality conditions and the extensive environmental testing we've done over the last several weeks. Uh, since last week, we've been, doing, we've been working closely with the Department of Health to update the DOE's health and safety guidance for our Lahaina schools. to take a more conservative approach whenever there's a change in air quality. Now, the Department of Health is requesting some action from Maui County and the Environmental Protection Agency. In Lahaina, the DOH requested soil stabilizer and dust control agent to be used in impacted zones, higher dust screens around impacted areas, water misters to control ash from becoming airborne, no longer using sifters near impacted areas, and the installation of additional air monitors.